Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. Cool little video, I hope. If you saw the first one of this, this is a, a Tommy Fav Fast Attack vehicle. It's an XB version, so it came to me like this, brand new. Um, I want to put my own spin on it. My gut feeling is, at the end of this video, I'm going to love it. But there's always a chance, because of what I'm going to do, it might not look that good. Now, I'd, I won't say... I have got a plan for that if that happens, but I'm not going to tell you what that is because I'm I'm pretty confident it's going to look good. And all I'm doing is I'm going to add some more green to it, that's all. So yes, if people are shouting at me, why are you painting putting bits on an XB kit? Because I want to make it my own. So it's going to start with the tyres. Um, these were reproduction tyres made by a guy on Tamiya Club, I believe. Massive shout out for Toby for sending me these. I believe these are no longer available and what it is it's a block it's a front block tire to match the rears um super cool sandblaster 315 front tire set so there's two front tires sealed in there so the first part of call in this video will be to whiz the fronts off take the wheel apart put the wheel inside this and probably do both i'll just put one nut and bolt through to hold it together put it back on the car see what it's going to look like because it is going to raise the front end up slightly because it's a slightly um, larger diameter but i have got the option of just putting a couple of spacers underneath here which will just jack the end the front end down a little bit but the whole this whole process starts with these being going on because then that gives me opportunity because i'll have matching front and back tires um, to do the tire writing if all that goes to plan then i'm going to add some army green to it i'm going to do the lights in gray front bar some of the side, this back box, these little plates, the rear shock bodies, um, and hopefully the driver figure and helmet. We're going to have to be very careful of that because this is beautifully painted. So I don't want to spoil it. For me, it just it wants more green and it'll be a little bit unique to me. So that's the plan of this video. And at the end of it, I'm really hoping that I don't kind of regret what I've done. Gut feeling says, no, it's going to be good. <laughs> Ugh. But um, anyway, let's get cracking by. I'll bring a camera over and let's get to these, see if these tyres fit the wheels and also fit the car. And if I can make it look reasonable stance wise with these tyres, and then we'll bat on. This should be a good one. Right, let's get into this one. Fingers crossed this is going to work. I'm sure it will. So, my first point of call the whole idea of this project is about using these front tyres, I think I showed them on the last video, these are aftermarket and I believe, shout out to Toby who sent me them, absolutely superb, um, it's a product of the SRB bloke and I believe he was on um, Tamiya Club, now I don't know if I'm correct, that's what I believe um, and he made these, I, I don't think they're that recent, I think they've still got a little bit of age to them but I don't think he does it anymore. Um, and the whole point was to give you a matching front tyre to the, the rear, you know, the sandblaster style tyre. So I'll just show you very quickly what one looks like. I've never seen these before. So you can see the tread to match the backs. Super cool, that. Now, the tyre rating is a massive factor for me on this. Because with these on... Um, and the tyre writing done and the extra work I'm going to do on it. I'm really hoping at the end of it we're going to have something special. Yeah, very excited about this. Now, the, why I know it started here, as you can see, the diameter is bigger. Looking at that, it's possibly 5-6 mil. So obviously it's half that for the stance. So we are going to raise the car up ever so slightly, which might make it. That's how it sits at, with suspension full, but it does drop slightly. Probably about a mil. So I've got the option, if the tyres on the wheels look really good, then for the shelf I'll just put a spacer under here and that'll just jack the front end down just whatever I need to keep it the same sort of level or slightly forward raking stance. There's not much in it to be honest, it's pretty flat. So yeah, first part of call, whiz these wheels off, take them apart, make sure it fits on this tyre, which I'm 100% sure it will. Uh, I'll just put one nut and bolt through, two nut and bolts through just to hold it together and then we'll fit them on the car and then once we've got, we can see what it looks like and then we can move on, so let's hope this works. Yep, I'm liking this already. Um, and it pulls the tyre in as well, which I really like. Now these are not sort of fitted properly at the moment, I've only put two nuts and bolts in, but you get the gist of it. 
Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll just do exactly the same with the other one. Quite a difference in size, as you can see. I'll just see if I, oh, anyway, you get the gist of it, I suppose. Um, so the only problem issue is the stance of it. So let me just swap this tire over, and then we'll stick it on the car. Right, I'm loving that. That gives it a very different look, and I really, really like it. It is too high, so I'm going to have to do something with the shocks. Dead easy to do. Look at that. That is so cool. So the stance will probably want to be probably about there, just to make it look, sort of look right. Oh, I love that. I've uh, I've never seen these tyres before. So to have a brand new set is really off the chart, to be honest. Um, I just think it's gonna, it just, it makes it very unique, doesn't it? You could actually get away with not doing anything with the front end, but uh, just the way I like it, it probably, what is it? Probably three mil, four mil, and it'll still have plenty of suspension to use. But yeah, stance wise, oh wow. That is awesome. Right, let's see what we can do with our suspension. Okay, so it's a little bit crude for now, and I'll figure something out in the future, but for now it gives me what I need. So I've just used two O-rings, um, a larger one at the bottom and a standard sort of shock, um, one on the top, two on either side. Um, yeah, not ideal, but it, ge it, it gives me the stance I want, and still, still could be used. Um, still enough um, shock movement for this particular car um, and we can also play with it anyway the whole point was put the screwdriver down or allen key the whole point of this was to get the stance and as you can see we've pretty much got that now the sort of standard kit came slightly very slightly raking down um, and now it's flat which I can happily live with for that that look that it's now got. Sorry if you think I'm taking too much time on this bit, but um, this this was kind of the whole bit of the project that um, I needed to make sure I was going to work. And for me, that works. That works ever so well. Yeah, that's just cool. That's very cool indeed. Right, so what to do next? So my plan is, if you can call it a plan, I want the wheels green, I want the lights around green, I'm hopefully maybe going to try to do this front bar green. I want this box, battery box, um, green, going down into the chassis. Possibly this sidebar. Definitely the shock bodies and the rear lights and the gearbox cover. This thing in here. Um, and ideally the driver. But that's going to be very tricky. Now, I'll, do, I'll undo the four screws to take this, this off, which will allow me to take the lights off and stuff. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll start stripping it down bit by bit. And uh, that's going to give me um, a better idea of what I can actually paint and what I can't. Right. I'm really regretting this right now. Um, I'm second guessing myself. I'm wondering if I should have just left well alone. Um, so this section here is everything I'm gonna paint with a spray can in Olive Drab 2. Got a masks for lights off obviously. Um, but everything else is Olive Drab Green. Um, I'll do the centers, just the inners, cause you only see a tiny bit of those with brush paint. Um, I've stripped a car to what I need. So in an ideal world, I want to paint this bar here. I also want to paint this section here. I've taken the brackets off on either side. And I just want to put some, oops, sorry. I want to put some paint around this. And when the driver's back in, it covers that. And then the whole box unit will be the same color. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm slightly concerned now. But we've got it to this stage, so what we're going to do. Um, driver's out, and I've got to try paint that, but I don't think I can get in everywhere to to do it justice. 
I might have to, you know, I can do all this side of it quite comfortably if I take my time, but it's going to be really difficult to get the brush into certain places. I really want to do it though, but, you know, I'm looking down in here, in there. How am I going to get a brush into that? It can be done, but jeez. Oh, Glenef and his head come off. I actually thought he was glued on, but um, yeah, kind of want to do. That's going to be tricky. That would be all want to be green. I was thinking his visor in black, but maybe not just full green. Oh dear. All right, we'll make a start, but um, right now I'm concerned. Right. Latest progress. I'm still stressing what's this going to look like when I put it all together. So on the car itself, I've had to give a couple of coats to this front bar like I said I was going to do. Um, done this unit on either side and then the centre box where obviously the lid goes on. Now the problem with that is because I've used, I've sprayed the top box, that's olive drab, what is it, olive drab 2. So it's going to be slightly different green, but I'm hoping because of when the driver figures all in, there's not a lot of this scene, and it's more this one. Where is it? This one. Um, so yeah, done that, and I said as, as on the front bar. So that's all I'm going to do on the car. I'll put that back there. Um, next to show you, I've um, done the centre of the wheels because um, those bits are seen. Um, that's all the bits I've spread. Um, yeah, panicking, lights, and I've managed to do the driver, and it's not too bad at all, to be honest. Um, what's his head? It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. So I'm quite happy about that. that took forever. Not so much difficult, just getting into the right places. So, jeez. Um, yeah, I'm going to let it all dry. Um, and then give any, anything a touch up and then I'll come back when it's all dry. Right, starting to put it back together now. Um, so driver's head's back on. Really, really happy with that. That looks really good. Um, what can I show you? And the front and rear wheels. I like it. I like it. So I'm just going to start building the uh, chassis up bit by bit. And while I'm doing it, I'll get some tyre writing on the tyres because that'll probably take a couple of coats. A little bit of progress. So side bars are on and the bits are spread. So that was a brush painted that was spread. So it's two different greens, but I kind of like it. Doesn't really matter, does it, when it's it's army and it's camo. Um, so I'm looking, I'm liking the look of that because obviously that was this colour. Um, I've got the uh, I don't know what it is um, motor cover thing on, and on the back there's a little oil cover, but now it's green. It's more difficult to see. But um, yeah, I'm liking that so far. Uh, I have put a bit of tyre writing on the tyres, but I need to clean them up because it's not the best. Um, I had a shaky hands today. Right, so I'll just carry on and figure out um, what's next. Right, that's the rear shocks on. They look so much better, in my opinion. But I sprayed them upside down, so I need to put some paint on the outside of that outer cup on both sides. It's not the end of the world, but um, it's something I need to do. But um, we'll carry on, but yeah, so far so good. Spotlights are on. I think they look miles better in green. The rears especially do. That just looks proper to me now. Especially with all the green, you can see that I've added. Right, let's crack on. Right. So yeah, front suspension's on now. Bumper's back on, it's all tightened up. Um, the back box is in just sat on and obviously we drive the figures in and I like that I know it's not finished yet but um, I don't think the green looks out of place I don't think so what we've got to do I've got to tidy the tyre writing up and then stick the front end on and that's it so when I come back here yeah, it'll be done fingers crossed so one last look before the wheels go on I think that looks really good that it actually looks way better than I expected. I kind of think I, I thought it was going to, it was going to be a problem, but um, it's got a nice balance to it in my opinion. Obviously, when I put the wheels on, that might alter that. Anyway, let's bang those wheels on. 
Well, I think that is absolutely awesome. I know I'm, I'm, I've surprised myself that um, it looks as good as it does. In my opinion, you might be watching this thinking, "No, nah, that doesn't work." For me, that works. That looks more military now than it did. If that makes sense. Oh, I'm a big fan, big fan of this now. Yeah, that is cool. You have to leave in the comments, my friends, what you think. That, yeah, that just works for me. I'm loving those tyres. I, I know you won't have tyre riding on an army vehicle, but uh, something very special about it. It just really brings a vehicle to life. Well, the premise of this video was to put my own spin on the fast attack vehicle that already looked gorgeous. I certainly don't think I've made it look worse, but you might tell you might tell me that in the comments. I don't know. We will see. Oh, I'm over the moon. I really am. That is awesome, and it's just the fact that I can put it in my collection now, and I know it's just that little bit different from whatever everyone else has got. And that just makes it kind of cool for me. So, yeah, that's it done. Now, I've given it, I was going to say, this is the day after, um, in the morning. So, I've given it, I don't know, four, five, six hours where I've just looked at it before I made the outro. Because sometimes I start nerding out. Because you see these in real time as I see them. It's just that I'm behind the camera. Um, so, I wanted to sort of have a really good look at this before I, I finish the video and go yeah I'm really happy with it I, I just wanted to make sure I was really happy with it uh, and I am now the whole point of this project was to take an already beautiful RC car and try put my own spin on it it wasn't to make it better because you can't do that or you can on some newer Tamiya cars <laughs> but yeah it was just put my own sort of stamp on it and I think I thought I've hundred percent done that. It's going to be really interesting in the comments of this video to see what you guys and girls think, because as I say, it started live and it was stunning already. Now I am going to be slightly sort of ultra critical of myself. For some, I'm no video expert or camera expert. I don't understand how they work, but I've watched the last segment of this video back on my phone, and on the video it looks like. There's a little bit too much green in this section. The balance doesn't look quite right. But in real life, you don't get that. So I'm not too sure. The, yeah, I'm no expert on how cameras work. Um, but yeah, it's funny because when I watched that back, I was like, yeah, it just looks too much, too much green. But again, you look at it in real life, I don't see that. So it's a little bit odd. Um, I think possibly possibly in hindsight this box section here behind the driver I may have may have left at the the normal kit color but again I'm only seeing that when I watch the video I don't see that in real life it, that's really odd I don't know it's like the camera doesn't give it its full proportions I guess is the best word to use anyway I mean that's something and nothing so I've got I, yeah, I've got to take it back to what what I wanted at the beginning of the video, and I've got that, and I've got I've got that and more in my opinion. I really do like it. It's it's a real eyeful, and again, once it's over in the cabinet, you know, I can look at it, and it's like, yeah, I did that. That's got my stamp on it now. It's only slightly different, I, I know, but um, it makes it your own. I think that's kind of cool to do with cars. Anyway. As I say, I'm super intrigued to read the comments on this one. See if uh, you think it's an improvement, if it was worthwhile doing. And don't forget, if you're going to jump in the comments because you've not watched the first video and go, it's crazy, but you've, you've painted an XB model. That's because I got this really cheap. To buy the kit version of this, the five dollars $600, if you can find one. I got this for €220 Euros shipped, something like that. 
So yeah, it was the 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 only reason I bought the XB version was because of the price. So uh, yeah, that's not really an argument. Um, one up, one other thing I would say. I think at the beginning of the video, I said, or in the other video, that this would be super easy to do and really quick. It really wasn't. It took me all day yesterday to do this. Um, painting like the front bars and the sort of intricate bits and the driver, it was really time consuming. <laughs> so yeah, when I said, ah, it won't take long, it really did. But anyway, I'm over the moon with it. So I'll end this video here. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. If this is the first time you've stumbled across one of my videos, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, say hello, leave me a thumbs down if you think I'm a dickhead. Uh, and if you do all that, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications off for our weekly videos. That would be absolutely massively appreciated. Right, I'll shut up. And as, and as always, my friends, happy our scene. Mm -hmm.